and welcome back to my channel. This is a continuation of uh, the video that came before this. Um, it got shut off because I didn't have enough storage on my tablet. But these are the uh, paper clips I was working on. Um, I was working on this one. Um, I think just putting this on. But anyway, this is how it turned out from one side, and this is the other. I added some of these Tim Holtz um, gears, and then I added those butterflies, and this little trim, and then this one. So that is what that one looks like. I will get a paper and show you how you would use that. So if this was a page in your journal, you would just clip that on like that. And then you would turn the page and you would see it on there. And then you can add a little uh, clip there. I know I was working on... Oh, I think I put that in my book already. And here is the other one. And that just goes on this way. And then this one can have a little charm there too. And that's what it looks like on this side. This one might need a little something else, but I think it's pretty good. I think these are considered done. So now I am working on still these pockets. Um, I painted them all so they're not quite as uh, bright. And on this one, I painted it and I glued a... Uh, or I decoupaged a napkin on there. I just got a um, decoupage or put uh, Mod Podge on the front here. Um, I hadn't done that yet, so I'm just gonna seal that up like that, and then I'll put it over here to dry. And on this one, um, I just added some book paper and some music paper. And I'll put something on there so that one is ready. And then um, I had some fabric on my desk here and I turned them into little flowers. So I'm just kind of using up what's on my desk here. And so then I have these three little pockets. And I have uh, this napkin that I was using. Um, this one had the little B over there and now I'm gonna do that one maybe I'll just put this one here not sure if you can see that but there it is excuse me and yeah these are just those pockets you could make a pocket or uh, if you have like an envelope cut it in half and glue the sides to make a pocket like this but I think Mod Podging is so fun. And I put a little water in this one. Um, now it seems a little watery, but it should be okay. Maybe I'll just put some on there. I just find like sometimes it's just too thick and it dries too quick when I'm working on it. I think mine was a bit old already. That's why it was so dry my light doesn't want to work here so I'm just gonna put the sides like that and my scissor cut this off and then I'll show you what I do with oh that cut nicely <laughs> just by tearing it um, yeah so just add some Mod Podge here to glue the sides like that and the bottom I just kind of whoops that one bend it over like this and it just makes a nice clean edge see beautiful now this one um, I just kind of cut where the little uh, crease or where the little opening is or the little V is and I'm just going to put a little Mod Podge in there and then just stick it in like that. Oh, 
like so. A little more. And you get nice crisp corners like that. And over here too. And just make sure you don't glue it shut, your envelope or your little pocket. And then if you want, you can add a little bit of color to the inside here. So I'm just going to put a little Mod Podge in there and just stick it in as far as you want in there. And there you go. And that should stick nicely. Oh, maybe I'll add a little more there. That was a nice <laughs> to have it there. Okay, so I'm going to cut this part off. And glue the back down. Because most likely I'll just be gluing this into a journal so you won't see, I won't see the back. There's a little piece that I ripped here. I don't know what I did there. There we go. And now just give it a little once over. And make sure it's stuck in there. Look at that. What a cute little envelope. Or a pocket. Okay. We will put that over here. You can see that one. And now I'm going to grab another um, napkin here. Just a different color. I love this one. Oop. My goodness, my scissor does not want to work. So I'll put this on the side here. And this is by all means not garbage. You can use that uh, when you do some more Modge Podging, and what I like to do is just grab a piece of tape, and stick it on a corner here. Ooh, that lifted up easily. Is this a two-ply, or, yeah, or not? No, I don't think so. See what does it say? One ply. Oh, it's got nothing on here. Whoa, that came off very easily. Makes me think there's another layer on here. Let's see. Oh, there is. Yep. Okay, I thought so, because it came off so easily. So there we go. And, of course, don't throw these out. You can always use it to mop up glue or whatever you have. Okay, so I'm going to use this one where I had... I don't know what that is. All my Mod Podge on. And... We'll just use this corner and just go over it a little bit more than you need and then give it a cut. My cutting is not very good, but it doesn't matter. Um, 
you won't see that. Ooh. See? This dries very quickly. I think because it's really warm outside, but in here it's it's not warm at all, actually. It's actually very nice in here. Okay, I'm going to put some in this lid. And put it right there. I'm not sure where I got these napkins. It was a full package, so I'm thinking I must have got them. Some, or somebody sent them to me, maybe. I'm not sure. Okay. Now, I'm just going to make a little slit in here. And just put some Mod Podge in here and slip that in. Like so. Now, I'll just take a little piece here. And I'll go in here. Don't even need that much here. this way because I didn't see this part here. There we go. That covers it. I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, yeah, we've had we've had a rough month to put it lightly. Um, my brother was sick and in the hospital and I think you all know that my nephew was killed and in a car accident. It was a head-on collision. Um, six o'clock in the morning. Um, head-on collision with a drunk driver that killed him. Yeah, very sad. He was only uh, 26 years old. He left behind a wife and four little girls. Um, the oldest is six and under. So, yep, that was quite a shock. And my brother, he is out of the hospital. He is home uh, recovering. He had a very bad um, infection. And, uh, yeah, but he is recovering, but like everything, it's very slow and a man has very little patience. So, yeah, if you can say a word of prayer for him, especially his wife, she's taking care of him. And for us here at home, we are healthy and doing our stuff. Bill's just watching a video. It's called uh, Spirit, the Stallion of the Cimarron. That is what he is watching. And he doesn't watch, 
you all know that he has autism, so he doesn't watch the whole thing. He only watches uh, parts of it, and then he rewinds it and watches it again and again. Um, he just loves doing that, and it's he's so hilarious sometimes. Sometimes he just... He laughs like crazy, and you're like wondering, why are you laughing? And you go and, and see what he's doing, and he's watching something like, you know, that's making him laugh. And <laughs> he just does it over and over, and I, he's so cute. I just, yeah, he's so cute. <laughs> I guess you got to be here to see that. He is so sweet. But we have... An exciting field trip scheduled we're gonna go see an animal farm very exciting um, sh this lady invited us over and she has horses pigs cows uh, sheep I believe goats chickens and peacocks and you name it, she's she's got it. So we're going to go and visit the farm, and we'll see how Billy likes that. Um, he's never been um, like we live near uh, like a petting zoo. He's been to that. He doesn't like like parrots, like birds and stuff. They're they're like when they're in an enclosed area, they're too loud. It's too loud for him. So that he doesn't like, but when they're, you know, just outside, I don't, I think he'll, he'll like it better when it's not so, so loud. And yeah, we'll just see how he does. I'm sure he's going to love it. So that is happening uh, sometime this one day this week. And yeah, other than that. It is just here at the Ep place, just doing our thing. Right, Bill? Yeah. What are you looking for? Hmm? He's looking for my phone. He's like, Mom's on the tablet. I want the phone. He's got his own tablet. He's got his own phone. But, uh, yeah, he likes to have my phone. I don't know what it is about my phone, but it's exciting. It's exciting for him. <laughs> and some of my friends, they already kind of know when when he's got my phone, when they send messages, they, uh, they'll they say stuff like, hi, Billy, or they'll send like a little emoji, like waving to him. And <laughs> I think it's so cute that, you know, they... They support me with him and, and, you know, they understand when I, I'm not at the phone right away when they're calling, when he's got it. And, and if I get a phone call, he's really good about it. He brings me the phone, but sometimes, you know, I'm, I'm upstairs and he's down here and the phone is ringing and, uh, you know, he doesn't, he, he comes and brings it to me right away, but, um, by then they've hung up and. Yeah, he, he's really good with that. Okay, so that is four little pockets. What do you think? I think they're gorgeous. And, you know, they're so easy to make. Oh, five little pockets here. But, yeah, I hope you like them. I hope this inspires you to create something. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you like it. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. I would love to have you join my YouTube family. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye. God bless.